According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in every 88 American children will be diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. That's 10 times more children than just 40 years ago. But along with these increasing statistics is an increase in awareness and understanding of the disorder. And for many, the focus is now shifting on helping diagnosed kids live normal adult lives. I'm happy that we're continuing to grow and, and uh, make an impact on you know children and families. Uh, but when you first started, I mean, it just it's like anything. You know, you're trying to get going, and and, and hopefully that uh, you're doing things in the right way. You can grow, and make you know, make a positive influence on kids and, and their families. NFL Hall of Famer Dan Marino has been helping autistic children and their families for over 20 years, starting the Dan Marino Foundation after his own son Michael was diagnosed with the disease. The foundation has reflected Michael's challenges and learning experiences. It wasn't always my idea. You know, we have, I have great people working with me that, uh, you know, foresee you know, kind of the future of how, you know, you can help kids with autism and developmental disabilities. Their focus started on awareness. And then it was about, well, how do we help, help you know, children and families uh, get these diagnoses and then treatments, you know, occupational therapy, you know, whatever, maybe speech therapy, all that stuff, and then, then located in one place. As Marino's son has grown up, the focus of the foundation has shifted. Now it's also going into college. What's, what do you do when you're 18 to 24, you know, if you want to learn about life skills and you want a degree and you want to meet other people and you want to work in the community? So that's where, you know, we're doing the college. They're helping prepare young autistic adults for life on their own with a new virtual reality studio. The real cool thing about the, you know, it's a, a virtual reality basically studio where, you know, you could sit down and talk to someone well, like yourself. We would be doing an interview like back and forth together uh, just to learn about how you, you do that. You know, if it, and it's, uh, it's an amazing thing, I think, from the standpoint of uh, you can, I mean, if it's talking to, uh, you know, if you want to talk, if you're going to ask the girl for a date or if you're going to go on a job interview, if you want to talk to, uh, you know, a boss about something and whatever it may be, it gives you a chance to practice that because some of the things that, that, uh, that are problems with kids with developmental disabilities and autism, and social skills, and how do we handle all that? Virtual simulation has been used to train military personnel, and the foundation believes it will be a great help to those with developmental disabilities. I think that we've been kind of on edge as a, as a foundation and have always been moving forward, looking ahead, and trying to be, you know, what's the next thing that could help us move forward and help the kids develop in all ages, you know, from the time they're two years old with, you know, with uh, early intervention and, and, and then all the way to life skills when they're 18 and 20 and 24, 25, whatever it may be, and getting jobs and being in the community and uh, working together. The foundation is gaining international attention for its work. We've already had people from other countries, people from other states, other places looking at what we're doing and what we're trying to do. I hope that we've had you know, uh, a really big impact in a lot of areas. You go to the, the center in Weston, um, if you, I see people on the street, people if I'm in the airports and stuff and say, hey, you know, my son or my daughter has had you know, issues and we went to your center or we looked at your website or we did whatever and, it, and it's made a difference, that's all you're trying to do, right? So that's, that's the best part.